What's up guys? This is Monster Jam Historian here, back with another video. Join us now as we briefly cover the results from the shows that have occurred over the last two weekends, including Oklahoma City, Wichita, Greenville, and St. Louis, as well as give the good, the not so good, and the straight up ugly. Not only that, we will be covering the latest news including World Final Zero being acknowledged, the Pagli Rulers bringing back Excalibur, Monster Jam back to full capacity, and more. Be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell for more Monster Truck content. Before we get into the good, the not so good, and the straight up ugly of the past two weekends of action, this week we will not be covering the results in depth or briefly. However, for full results, check out the Monster Jam Historian Instagram page and MonsterJam.com. The good, Jim Kohler's racing wins. Mr. Excitement himself, Jim Kohler, picked up two huge racing wins in St. Louis, defeating the likes of Cole Vinan in Black Pearl and Ryan Anderson in Bakugan Dragonoid, to name a few. This is especially impressive as his racing game hasn't been the best this year. Beating Ryan Anderson is especially impressive considering he has the best stadium racing win to loss ratio, with 46 wins and only 13 losses to his 2021 track record. And speaking of St. Louis, the best weekend of Monster Jam in 2021. The three shows in St. Louis were filled to the brim with action. Each show had memorable moments, from Ryan Anderson's incredible bicycles to Jim Kohler's fantastic save in freestyle from show one. St. Louis was nothing short of what Monster Jam fans expect in 2021, and fans could not be more excited for Monster Jam in Glendale this weekend. A back and forth between Vincent and Mahan in Greenville and Wichita. Greenville saw a back and forth battle between Brandon Vincent and Brianna Mahan, who had not driven in Monster Jam since the pandemic saw them partly out of the sport for most of the 2021 season. Vincent showed that he is a force to be reckoned with throughout both Greenville and Wichita. Vincent already has an impressive track record, as out of the two weekends he has been scheduled to compete, he has picked up six racing competition wins, eight skills challenge wins, eight donut wins, three freestyle wins, and eight overall event championship wins. Mahan started to find her groove in Greenville and started picking it up during Wichita. Mahan also has a good track record with one racing competition win, one skills challenge win, one donut win, five freestyle wins, and two overall event championships. Both Mahan and Vincent have made a great return to the sport and continue to add more wins to their name. Travis Murray and Elvis Linus taking big wins. A huge congratulations goes to both Travis Murray, driver of the Extreme Attitude Monster Truck, and the new addition to the Mohawk Warrior team, Elvis Linus, for their respective wins from last weekend in Oklahoma City. Murray picked up his first ever Monster Jam win in freestyle at Wichita, while Elvis Linus won his first skills challenge win in his new ride for 2021, and added an overall event championship to his impressive track record. Team Overboard takes over Oklahoma City. It couldn't have been a better weekend for the Overboard team, as Jamie Garner, Zach Garner, and even the newly debuting John Zimmer Jr. in Terminal Velocity all took wins in Oklahoma City and showed the Monster Jam fans who's boss. Jamie Garner and Overboard were to make it to the finals three times and would win the racing competition twice, losing in the final round in show five to his son, Zach. Zach would have an arguably more impressive weekend, winning two out of the five skills challenge wins and the overall event championship at show five. But the most talked about moment was when John Zimmer Jr., son of Monster Jam legend John Zimmer, took home the skills challenge win at show four in his truck, Terminal Velocity. Zimmer Jr. has been driving Terminal Velocity since late last year at select independent shows. Clearly the Overboard team and the Garners are not ones to mess with, and Oklahoma City will forever be one of their most memorable shows of all time. The Not So Good, a disappointing weekend for LaDuke. Todd LaDuke is one of the most talented drivers of all time. Todd has not had much arena experience, especially during the 2021 season, but it is unfortunate to see LaDuke not winning any competitions and not making it past the first round in racing in Oklahoma City. LaDuke is ready for his hometown show in Glendale, Arizona this coming weekend, and you can be sure he'll bring his A-game. No competition for independence in Greenville? 
While it was exciting to see Mahan and Vincent get back into their groove, there was clearly an absence of other competitors on the winner's stage, the Independents. While Matt Pagliarulo and Steven Sims Jr. would pick up a few wins throughout the show, it was clear that Mahan and Vincent were at their A game and ready to dominate the competition. Now, there wasn't anything considered to be straight up ugly, but overall, it was an exciting two weekends of action, and fans are excited for this next weekend of action in Glendale. Now it's time for the news, and let's jump straight into our first story. Monster Truck Mania in Melbourne postponed? Australian Monster Truck fans have been treated to an awesome tour beginning in Sydney and ending in Brisbane. Sydney's show was a huge success, and Melbourne's show in Rod Laver Arena was scheduled for May 29th and May 30th. However, due to the recent restrictions from the Victorian government, the show in Melbourne has been postponed. It is currently unknown if the show will get rescheduled or cancelled, and Brisbane's show at the Entertainment Centre on June 19th and 20th is still scheduled, but nothing has been said concerning the Brisbane show. We will follow closely on this story. Next up, success for Team Samson in West Salem. While Monster Jam was tearing it up in St. Louis and Greenville, Monster Truck Throwdown hosted their first show of 2021 in West Salem, Ohio. Cody Saussier, who was driving Samson for the weekend, took the Samson team to victory by winning racing and freestyle. A huge congratulations goes to Cody and the Samson team for their huge win. Up next, acknowledgement of World Final Zero. Die-hard old school Monster Jam fans will be familiar with the unofficially nicknamed World Final Zero, hosted in 1999 in St. Louis. The show is nicknamed World Final Zero as it was treated as a World Finals, but it was never mentioned or officially recognized by Monster Jam until recently. In an Instagram post made by the official Monster Jam account, it was brought up the number of World Finals appearances that Mr. Excitement had been in, showing 21 appearances rather than 20. This is awesome news as this is now technically the first ever World Finals, and the future Monster Truck Hall of Famer Brian Womack in Barefoot is the first World Finals racing champion. What do you think of this news? Leave your thoughts in the comments below. On to the next story, as Excalibur's returning, Charlie Porkin is most notably known for driving Gravedigger during his time in Monster Jam. Old school Monster Truck fans would be familiar with his truck Excalibur, which he ran before joining Team Gravedigger. After its discontinuation in the 90s, the truck would be ran from 2005 to 2013 under Sudden Impact Racing, and saw massive success when Carl Van Horn drove the truck in 2010. Fans were intrigued when Porkin made posts on Instagram discussing the future of Excalibur and if it would make a return. Later on in the week, it was announced that Team Tom Fullery Motorsports was reviving the Excalibur name and would be their fourth truck in their fleet. The team already has the father and son duo of Matt Pagliarulo and Jester and Nick Pagliarulo and Kraken, as well as the upcoming Recreation Monster Truck. And now they have another truck joining the fleet, being Excalibur. What do you guys think of Excalibur making a return? Leave your thoughts in the comments below. And our final story for tonight, is Monster Jam back to full capacity? Fox Business did a segment on the possibility of Monster Jam and other failed shows like Disney on Ice returning back to normal post-pandemic. Feld CEO Kenneth Feld discussed many things during the interview, including that Monster Jam was the first live entertainment to return to American audiences last October in Arlington. Kenneth did not explicitly mention that Monster Jam will be returning to full capacity, however the interview has given the impression that Feld is gearing up for a full return with full capacity and more shows. While it was announced later in the week that Monster Jam would be returning to Nashville at Bridgestone Arena, what had most fans by surprise and excited was the news that this show would have a full capacity. Fans can expect that future shows past Nashville will have a full capacity, but what do you think of this? Are you excited for Nashville? Leave your thoughts in the comments below, and I'll see you all soon with some more Monster Truck content.